Here we have a choke machine and tool company mag extension for the Smith & Wesson 3000. Uh, they stopped making these a while ago, but they uh, started making them up again. And I think it's because these shotguns are starting to hit the civilian market after being in police departments. Uh, probably in the back locker because everybody wants an 870 or a Mossberg now. And they're just uh, starting to auction off. So uh, I was lucky to get my hands on one of them. And what I did was I ordered the extension. We'll get an extra two rounds out of this thing and make it a little bit more fun. But here's the uh, Choate Mag Extension Kit. Uh, for my Canadian subscribers, uh, they will ship to Canada, even though their website doesn't really show that they do. I emailed them, and I got an email back from Fred Choate himself. He's the president. And very nice person said, yeah, we'll put your order through. Call as long as it's legal and... He said mag extensions are, so I'll send one to you. And it was about 10 extra dollars to ship to Canada than rather than the United so States. So I called up and got this nice lady. I told them I was speaking to or dealing with Fred Choke by email. She said, oh, well, here, let me put you on the line. With them. They weren't sure if they had the right size one for me. And he offered to make one. Anyway, he had one kicking around he found in matte black. He said, if you really want a blue one, though, I can send you a blue one. Anyway, I just took the one that he had available, but the fact that he offered to make one was pretty cool. All right, so looks like we got an ample spring here. Um, it's wrapped in enough elastic bands. Let's see what we can come up with here. Waste too much of your time trying to get this untwisted. Oh, there it is. I suspect I'll have to uh, shorten that up, but if I don't, great. I'd prefer not to clip it if I don't have to, but we'll put that aside. Along with the follower and along with the mag extension and then the barrel clamp. Actually, we'll look at the barrel clamp for a second. It's just, you know, it's not a, a beauty piece or anything like that, but it's nice, nice that it came with a uh, swivel. Uh, I might not use this. If I can get it to stay on securely, I am going to try shooting it without the barrel clamp. And the reason being is, I've gotten from a very reliable source, that barrel clamps can sometimes be an issue when you're shooting slugs. What it does is it makes for a very inconsistent point of aim. And But we can probably use that as a uh, subject for a future video. Oh, remember in the old days when there was no dimples in 870s? Well, just like the old days. Let's see if we can get that in focus here. As you can see, we have the, the spring here. What we're going to do is we're just going to um, push that together and then pull it out gently. I'm going to do that off the camera because, well, frankly, it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty awkward to do at the table right here. Well, there it is. All I have to do is pull that out, take the spring out. Did the follower come out already? There's the follower. And wow, isn't it nice to be able to put an extension on without having to drill out or press out dimples? What were you thinking, Remington? Pretty straightforward. I'm going to put the follower in. The big ass spring. Hopefully it's the right size and I don't need to shorten it. Although from looking at it, I need to shorten it. But let's just, oh, for shits and giggles, just put it in there as best we can. It's got some nice anti-locking uh, ratcheting going on here. So now let's have a look at the profile of the gun. Well, that changes the look of it a little bit. Uh, we'll take her out and we'll give her a test. All right, we got the Choke two-round uh, extender kit here. So I got it installed. Let's see how it goes.
six. One in the chamber. Seven. Seems to work pretty good. I predict a great group at 500 yards with a 12 gauge. What do you think? Amazing. Awesome. <laughs>